I just went and saw the new Barbie movie and now I want to build the scene in Minecraft. Specifically, we're going to build Barbie's dream house, complete with interiors, a yard and some of the street. We have a few mods to help us get all of the right blocks for this. I'm so excited to try some of the cute furniture. But let's start by building her street. In the movie, it looks like they use a pale yellow colour for the sidewalks and a pale pink for the road. Let's have a look. I don't think there's any pastel yellow blocks. No, not really. We might have to go with end stone. Let's try this. And then for the road, we can try pink concrete powder. Okay, I think this will be good to start with. We're also using a texture pack called Bare Bones, which is why everything looks a little bit different. We're also doing a driveway going straight up to where the house will be. Next to that, there's also a path going up to the front door, but it's got kind of gaps as though it's made of planks. So I want to use this birch planks path that we have. And then that also goes between the driveway and this. Now we know where the house begins, I want to start working on that. The Barbie house is kind of multiple shades of very bright pinks, so I think our best bet will be these two blocks. There's pink concrete and magenta concrete, but this also kind of just looks like hot pink. And these are definitely going to come in useful as well. Okay, but let's actually get started. So we'll make the corner of the house here, and it's mostly held up by pillars that are not actually walls. Then this part is all open and we'll do another pillar here. Then we'll continue building up the frame for the ground floor and we'll build a roof on top. Ta-da! We have the ground floor. This is going to get a lot taller because there's going to be a second and a third floor, but for now let's focus on this one. Oh, and this thing, this is a marker for a main centerpiece of the house. So if we grab our cobblestone, this looks grey but it's actually pink because I edited it myself to look more like how it does in the movie. It's hard to tell what's going on with this but I'm pretty sure it's a pink fireplace with a chimney. So the chimney comes all the way through the top here and it keeps going up through the second floor and the third floor. Some of the other details that we'd like is over here there is a semi-transparent kind of wall area. It's not glass but glass is kind of the best we can do. And then at the front here this part is glass or maybe see-through plastic. Of course this is not actually going to be a functional door. It's just panes of glass but it does look correct to the movie set and also a lot of things on the movie set weren't functional. Then the last area down here that's kind of sectioned off is this. And now we can work on the actual rooms and add some furniture. I'm going to start with this little corner here because in the screenshots it's very obvious what's going on here. This is a little open plan dining room. We want to start with a table. We've got this one or maybe this one. Oh, or this one. There's actually a lot of white tables. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I like that. I like how the legs kind of join together. Okay, they're all kind of similar. Let's just go with this. And then we need some cute chairs. Let's go all white. For the fun part, we'll add cutlery here. And a plate that doesn't go in the middle, that can go here. And a mug. Next, we definitely need some lighting. I think these ones might require, yes, a light switch. Oh, that's so cute. And for extra decoration, we'll add these. Okay, that's a little dining area done. I also found these adorable hanging lights with hearts on them. But let's move on to this area. This area kind of intersects with where the pool is going to go, so we need to build that up. And then for this bit, I'm not sure if this is a full kitchen, but it's definitely a poolside bar. So I think we'll do that here and then a full kitchen over here. Oh, I kind of want to use this light blue tile for the bottom. Yes, that'll look good. So we have our lovely pool. I made a cute diving board with a little ladder. And of course, a Barbie slide, which is just doomed to look like a staircase. This is block game after all. Then for the pull side bar, we will add some of these. And it wraps around on the set like this. It also looks like there's some cocktails on it on the set, so let's try adding some of these. These are from the Beach Party mod, and they look super cute. Oh my gosh. 
And what's this one? Oh, this one's big. It has a little wedge of lime in it. And then we need a bit more pink, so I'm going to make a pink bench over here. Then we'll add a couple of bar stills and that completes this area. A lot of this space here is kind of lounge room and Barbie has a lot of big pink couches. They're kind of like corner couches except they curve around even more. We'll add a rug for a little bit of colour variety. And I found these little plushies. I think they're actually lights but we're going to treat this like a plushie. Oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. I know that Barbie has a table in the lounge with a pink lamp. And then we'll take Artistic Liberty to fill other areas with anything cute. Okay, and then the final downstairs area is this, and I can't actually tell what this is from the screenshots. All I know is from the front of the house, it's kind of sectioned off with something pink, and there seems to be a tap over here. So I'm going to take that bit of information and turn it into a kitchen. And that completes the bottom floor, so now we can build the top two floors. This whole middle floor is basically all just for getting ready, kind of like a giant changing room. One thing it has here is a little partition to get changed behind. And we're going to make this out of red glass to tie in with the door below. Yes, I think that'll be good. Then she has some kind of little counter, we'll just use a table and some curtains. We'll add some more drawers and a little wall light. This area here had a table and a chair. And we also have some extra space, so I feel like we'll add a couple of cushions. I also feel like some more plushies might really suit this room. Maybe a little bit more pink. And this section is like a closet, so we'll have a couple of shelves here. Then we'll get two armor stands and put some armor on them. I had a look for other clothes, and the only thing I could find is this hat. I wonder if this can go on here. Oh my gosh, it can! Oh, that is so cute. I love that. And that just about completes this floor. The final floor at the very top is, of course, Barbie's bedroom. We're going to do our best to capture the essence of her bed, even though we can't get the exact same type. Her bed head looks like a giant shell, which we definitely can't achieve, so I think we'll just go for something else grand. Like a big four poster. Oh my gosh, look at this choice of beds though, there's so many to choose from. Considering there's like a hundred, they're all kind of similar. I think this one will be nice. And we'll give it a little bit more of a bed head. I can't tell if she has a bedside table in the movie, but she definitely has an armchair. And there's some other thing next to it, it might be a big lamp. I wonder if we can go like this. Oh, we can! Okay, perfect. And lastly, let's add a frog plushie. I think we might be done with the interior. Oh, that is cute. Oh my gosh, this house is looking so cute, but I'm really excited to start on the yard and the exterior. We'll begin by creating boundaries around the outside using hedges and a wall. Because, of course, the Barbie movie set is bordered with hedges and a wall. The fence in the film is also lined with little shrubs that have orange flowers, so we're going to use these a bunch of tulips. And maybe we intersperse some ferns in there too. I tried planting this coconut tree at the back which I like, so we'll do a couple more of those. Then in Barbie's driveway she had a car. This one I have a feeling is going to be, yeah, it's quite small. But that might be the best we can do. I want to get it facing the right way. Wait, what? No! Okay, we got it facing the street, that'll do. Then on the street there are pink lampposts. We also have some more little shrubs. I also want to try adding some of these smaller garden lights. And then on this side, I think we'll do them here and here. Either side of the pool there's some yellow umbrellas with beach chairs. And we do actually have some of these deck chairs which will be nice. They need to face the other way though. We'll have those three and a couple over here. For the umbrellas, we can try the bed trick. We have a block in the middle and then go around the outside like this. Oh, that looks cute! I like it! Should we do a little bit of this as well? 
That is this whole side of the yard done, but weirdly enough, the other side actually has another pool. I think it might actually be Barbie's neighbor's pool, but it's kind of hard to tell because there's no fences. So we will just make another pool, I guess. And that completes my version of Barbie's dream house from the film. I know it's not super accurate, but this is just my interpretation, having fun with the mods we could get. But let's do a quick little final walk around. So we come in and we have the lounge and the kitchen. And then going around the bag, I didn't really show you guys this, but I made the fireplace. Then over on this side, we have the poolside bar. And next to it is the dining room and that is downstairs. If we go up to this floor, we have Barbie's dressing room with a little partition over here and her outfits over here. And then going up to the final room, we have Barbie's bedroom. On this side of the yard, we have the pool with the diving board and the slide. If we then come around the back, we get to the other pool. And this one has some more floaties and some chairs. And that is my version of Barbie's dream house. I hope you guys enjoyed this for something a little bit different and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.